Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a little kind of instructional style video. This is in collaboration with Kia Babies, which is where my baby carrier came from. I will put the price on the screen if you are interested in it. I will link them below and I also have a discount code, so I will put that code across the screen right here. But basically I'm going to show you guys today how to set up a ring sling carrier and how to put your baby inside of it and also how to set up your wrap carrier and how to put your baby inside of it because they sent me their ring sling carrier which does double. It is a ring sling carrier for your baby and you can also take the rings right off and use it as a wrap carrier for your baby. So it's pretty insane that it's already a super cheap price for one carrier but it actually doubles as two carriers in one which I think is amazing because let's be honest nobody knows what kind of carrier their child is going to like the most. A lot of times it changes. And a lot of people can be confused about how to set them up and get their baby in it. So I figured I would show you guys quickly today how to do the ring sling and the wrap and how to get your baby into it. So please subscribe before you watch the video and then also give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Check out Kia Babies down below to grab your wrap carrier slash ring sling carrier. And uh, oh, head over to my Instagram at Becca Hall. I'm always over there. But we are going to get right into this video. Let's go. All right, y'all. So welcome to the demonstration portion of this video. I am going to hopefully have him sit right here on the bed for a few minutes and behave. But I'm going to show you guys how to set up both the ring sling and the wrap carrier and then I will also show you putting the baby in it and carrying the baby in it. Yay. And hopefully he'll just kind of sit for a minute. We'll see. Okay so first we're going to set it up as a ring sling and then after that I'll show you setting it up as a wrap since it is a two in one. So we have our two rings right here and basically all we're going to do here is fold this in half. This obviously is really wide because it also is a wrap carrier. So we fold it in half and then it's going to act as a double layered ring sling. There are some that only have one layer. There are some that are double layered. Um, there are a lot of different kinds if you have looked into these things. But basically you're just going to find the logo which is the in like the middle of the sling and in any carrier I've used that's how they design it on purpose so I think it'll be like that on pretty much any ring sling you find um, otherwise just go about halfway I have my logo and I have my rings and I'm just kind of aligning the logo to the rings right here as you can see it's just hanging and it is obviously wrapped around the rings like so you're gonna place this on your shoulder, I like to have the ring as close to my shoulder as possible, so really like up here. And you bring the other part across your back and back up like you'll see here. And when you bring it back up, you just want to make sure it's not tangled at all, obviously. And you're just going to pull it through like so. So we have it over your rings and you want to make sure that it's always not tangled as you put it through these uh, through the rings because you'll be able to adjust it a lot better this way. You'll be able to pull from this side to adjust the top, this side to adjust the bottom instead of always having to go like in all directions. You'll be able to adjust the area that you want to adjust every time. So it is through the rings and as we see here we have both rings. I'm going to pull this one up. We're not, we're wrapping we're putting, we're not doing anything with that ring. We're gonna leave it to the side. The bottom ring is the one that we wanna put it back through. So we're gonna put it through the bottom ring so that it creates that loop right there, as you can see. And I'm just gonna kind of try to spread it out the best I can. Again, so that it's easy to adjust any part of it, like so. And now I'm going to go pick up my baby and show you guys getting him into it. I leave it kind of loose at first and then I'll tighten it once he is inside. Loves being in a ring sling. So you can do this on a couch so you know you don't drop your kid for the record. But uh, we're pros at this so I know he won't go down. <coughs> yeah. Alright. So the important part here is making sure that it's not just like sitting at their butt like that. I personally grab the bottom 
It is double layered, so make sure you're grabbing all of it, like I just didn't do. But I basically <coughs> lean him over and I pull that under him so it's really like saddling him in as you can see he is stuck in that right there because I pulled it up to where it literally I lean him over and pull that bottom part up to where it's like basically touching his belly button so I look down here and I can see that fabric literally at like his belly button so I know that it is gonna hold him in and it is nice and safe and then if you have a smaller baby who's younger, you do want to keep this as high as possible as well. I used to put it all the way up to like his neck area, but he's bigger. He definitely does not want that now, so I do let it kind of sit lower so he can have his arms out and stuff. But I'm going to adjust it to the tightness that I want. And again, I can kind of pull from whichever side I need the tightness to come from. So this side is the top of it holding his back in more. This is the like butt area and I can tighten it however I want. And then you will have a bunch of excess. You can kind of loop through this if you want. You can knot it. Some people even use it as like a breastfeeding cover. Um, I usually literally just kind of like knot it through the side here in some sort of way. And I can carry him around like so in my ring sling. And it does keep the pressure off your back really well since it goes across your back and your shoulder so nicely. This thing, cause he's just totally happy hanging out in his sling. So this is definitely his preferred way. I am gonna show you guys the wrap part of this in case you wanna try both the ring sling and the wrap. Obviously you can change it however you want to. Um, I did put him in the wrap more as a newborn, but that definitely hasn't been the case since he's older. He likes to be hanging out in the ring sling for sure. But then, I should show you guys, to take them out, it is also super simple. I really just grab the top ring that is showing right here, and I will pull it, and as you can see, it just takes it all out, and I'm able to pop him right on out of it, and you can leave it like this. That way you can take it off, and you don't have to worry about redoing it every single time. So I'm going to put him down quick. And then, of course, you can literally take this off hang it up like so and you don't have to worry about redoing it every single time which is definitely nice but hopefully he'll be good another minute I'll show you guys how to switch this to a bag. so we are going to look for that logo again because that is the center and we are going to put it right here you can kind of put it low high however you want it doesn't really matter yet but I'm just going to kind of sit it right like this and we are going to take both sides and loop it around the back. So I'm going to do it on the back so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. But we're going to take one side and toss it over the shoulder. And then you're going to take this side and toss it over your shoulder. Like so. And just make sure there is no tangle in how it is. Alright, so now you have it like this. Here's our logo. Once you have your shoulder, we are going to put it through this middle portion. Ah! And this is where you can kind of start tightening it if you want. You will kind of probably tighten it a lot at the end if you're like me. I just kind of do it loose and then tighten it all later. But we just like that. Again, make sure it isn't tangled at all you want it to be like literally not like wrapped around in weird ways or anything or tangled because you're gonna put a baby in it so now to that middle part we are just going to cross it and then put it behind your back and then you can tie it however you want you can bring it back to the front to tie it you can put it on like your hip I'm gonna tie it in the back for now <laughs> You might have to adjust your tie a couple of different times just because it might take a little bit of getting your baby into this to know how tight you need it to be or how loose you need it to be. So that's totally fine and adjustable. I'm actually going to have to loosen mine because I know he is not going to fit in what I just created because I have not put him in a wrap in so long. We can pull this down, this middle part, it's gonna come up at the end, but you can pull it down to make it easier for now, for sure. So notice that it is crossed and crossed right here. That's gonna be important to start with because we were gonna put one leg in one loop and one leg in the other loop. 
All right, I have my baby. He's not going to be happy. A lot of babies love the wrap carriers. He is definitely a ring sling kind of boy. Um, but he did sit in this more as a newborn. So see, I put one leg in the loo. And then I'm going to put the other leg in this loop. And then you just want to kind of get it as spread across their little butt as you possibly can. And that's why you don't want it tangled. This is really creating their comfortable, safe seat. There we go. All right, as you can see, he is nice and tight in here. Both sides have gone totally over from his knee area all the way up to his butt, from the knee area all the way up his butt. And then we're gonna take that middle part. Oh yeah, baby. And the middle part will go right over top up here. And you have him in your wrap and you are all ready to go. And you can adjust the tightness on the knot in the back as you need to. But also, when he was little, it was really easy because these parts right here, I was able to just tuck his little shoulders into. And before he picked his head up, I could actually just tuck his head into it as well. So it actually is really, really good for newborn babies. It's a little bit harder in a bigger baby like this guy here. He definitely likes to be in the ring sling because it gives him more independence uh, to kind of do what he wants. But we are all set here, and he's ready to be carried around. And it's nice and safe. There's no way he can fall out. So again, if you guys are looking for a, like a carrier that can do multiple things, this is definitely one I would recommend giving a try to because you'll be able to have the wrap carrier aspect and the ring sling carrier aspect in one carrier, which I think is really awesome because carriers are expensive. Expensive. There are so many different brands, so many kinds, and you really never know which one your kid is going to prefer. So I would definitely go for one like this where you can get two in a row. You can use it longer in different stages. You can see what they like, and then it's just so much easier for the price, in my opinion. I hope this helped you guys out on figuring out how to set up your ring screen. Did, give it a thumbs up. Please sure to subscribe for more and my videos. And we will see you guys in the next video.